Next one is the stack. The solid oxide fuel cells are then combined to form a fuel cell stack. The next third one is the server moduli. The fuel cell stacks are combined to form a moduli. And the final one is the several moduli combined together to form a moduli. Here the fuel cells are arranged the stack, server moduli, the server to deliver the more power. Here the one fuel cell producing the 25 watts which can power the one light bulb. Next one is the a single fuel cell. Uh, next one is the one stack, the aggregations of um, 40 fuel cells is capable of producing the one kilowatt and it can power the one US phone. And uh, next one is the single module producing the 25 kilowatts which can power the small store at this place. This one is the, the, one is the server, the server the producing the 100 kilowatts which can power the 30,000 square feet of this building or 100 US phones. The series are holding the um, single fuel cell and then stack and then server and next final is the module. Next one, the next one is the bloom box technology. We already know that the fuel cell have the three segments. The air, the anode, the cathode and the electrolyte. So here the fuel and the steam passes over the anode while the air passes the cathode. Here the electrochemical reaction takes place in the presence of electrolyte. Uh, and then the electricity is produced without the combustion. Next one is the working of solid oxide fuel cell. How it works the high temperature, heat mixes with the heat mixes with the air entering the cathode side to create the steam. The steam mixes with the natural gas and creating the deformed fuel. The deformed fuel is nothing but the hydrogen and the carbon monoxide by the reaction of the hydrocarbons with the water. Next one is the chemical reaction. The reformed fuel enters the anode side, attracting the oxygen ions from the cathode side. Next one is the byproducts. The oxygen ions combine with the reformed fuel uh, to create the water. Small amount of carbon dioxide and electricity. And the next to the final one is the recycling. The water is the recycled to produce the steam needed to make the reformed fuel. The heat is also recycled as a required by the fuel cell. This is the benefits of the bloom energy. It uses the low cost material. The fuel flexibility is also possible here. It has the high electrical efficiency. It has the low CO2 emissions and the easy installation and the maintenance. The next one is the risks of bloom energy. Cost of production is high, capital and the installation costs are high. Operates under the high temperature. This is the Bloom Energy, the well known customers are uh, Walmart, Coca Cola, eBay, Bangkok, America, Ado, the Google, and the Hotel. The Bloom Energy is the first customer. The Google installed the four servers at, at its headquarters in 2008. And Walmart is working in 100% of renewable energy. Next one is the eBay has an installation of five boxes that producing up to the 500 kilowatts. Also, the Bank of America has a 500 kilowatts of installation. This is the applications of Bloom Energy. The Bloom Energy can be used where the onset generation of electricity is used. It can be used as a spectrum play type of electricity. It can be used for all purposes of like domestic and industrial. It is presently used by Google, Walmart, eBay, etc. The Bloom Energy solid oxide fuel generates the electricity via an electrochemical reaction rather than the combustion. So they already avoid emitting the harmful air pollution that comes with the burning fuels. The fuel can be used in a variety of applications including transportation, industrial and the commercial buildings and utility power stations. Steps to take care with the Bloom Energy even though it is an in the employment stage, it would be the beneficial for Facebook to evaluate the energy needs. The major benefits can be the cost saving with the electricity consumption. The final is the conclusion. The presently it's most while usually in America. In future, we would like to see this Bloomberg in every Indian home. We always imagine that the world free from the energy related problems such as pollution, energy crisis inefficient use of limited resources, global warming, etc. So let's use available energy efficiently and smartly so that
that our next generation can enjoy the real beauty of Mother Earth. Thus, the blue energy proves to be a new and a developing technology that produces the clean and the reliable energy. The blue part is able to produce the constant electricity for 24 hours a day, unlike either solar or wind technologies. The see that the ampere's force part is blue part flying not only the American coast, but also in homes of America, India, Africa, India, and China. Uh, these are the references I have taken from the presentations. Thank you. Any questions? Hello, sir. Hello? Yeah, you can ask. Sir, why not the minutes is used in the morning in this India? Is that? Why not blue energy is used in India? Yeah, it's like uh, cost rate is very high. Uh, in future, uh, we are expecting. Oh, Mukta. Yeah.